Horse bay stick it in the middle. Rip the cards back on top and stick it in the middle again. Some people think it's on top. You get a little tap and it's back on top. See, it looks like one card, but really it's three cards. With practice, you'll get the feel of three cards as one. Like that. And show that. Which is a summer club. And then. You put, it looks like you're putting a summer club in. But really, it's a different card. <coughs> then you do a double lift. To look like one card that it jumped to the top. It's only two, two cards as one. And then you're just taking a different card and put it in the middle. Then you do a double left again. And say, some people think it's on top. You get a little tap and it's back on top. Um, that's where it's two cards as one. And you put a different card in there, and then, you know, anyway. <clears throat> so this, the 
This is a trick I learned in a book a long time ago in the 70s and 80s, 1970s and 80s. Alright, now here's the Jack of Spades. Now it's changed to the Queen of Diamonds. This is what you do, you... Let me put that back on there. Whatever is on top. You go like this, and you grab this with your finger right here. As you're holding onto this, and you flip over and show that card and whatever. And normal speed is like this, like that. I think I already showed this, but I'll do it again. Someone picks a card. Let's see what card it is. It's the nine of hearts. No, eight of hearts. Hard to see it on the camera, but eight of hearts, okay. And I put it right there. Shuffle cards. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And I'll shuffle them even more. Let's go. As you can see, this is called the sloppy shuffle. <coughs> you got some that's back face. Some that's face back. And some that's face back, some that's back face, some that's there, and some that's back to back. Now I'll spread the cards out, and there'll be one card face up, amongst the face down. It's kind of hard to do that. There'll be one card face up, Amongst the face down. Your card is face up amongst the face down. The face up or face down, that's a Michael Amor line from, a, from another trick, but added to my version of the sloppy shuffle. And see what you do is. See, Penn Russell was teaching me at Wizard Works in Williamsburg, Virginia, but now it's called Park Cove. Since the theme is Irish, it might have changed again if the thing changed in Hastings again. Alright. We ain't been to Kings of Manor Bush Gardens in a long time. Okay. This Tuesday, me and Banty and Tom are going to go see at Cinemark Anticipate um, Garden, of Gal Garden of the Galaxies Part 3. It ought to be good. We ain't been in the movies in a while either. The last movie we saw was Black Adam. Okay. So many tra tracks everywhere I go, including the movie theaters. Even in the bathrooms. I lay them everywhere and in the bathroom stalls and urinals so that the children and adults can see it. Sometimes I even stick it in, in the side of the mirrors or lay them on by the sink or where they get the thing to wipe their hands with the paper towels or whatever. <clears throat>
I find out I'm not the only one doing it. I find other Baptist churches doing the same thing. Great minds think the line. Alright. Uh, anyway, pick a, you, they pick a card, it doesn't matter what card they pick. Let's say which one says the uh, King of Spades. Put your cord on top of there, so they do. But you, as they put it here, you put this one here, and you just stick it on the bottom of here, and then you cut the cord by putting the other on top. And then it looks like you're mixing the cord to. It's called a false shovel. I mean. You are mixing the cards up, except for the spectator's card. But it's a cold default shovel to retain the bottom card. See? The bottom card right there. You're pulling all the cards, but retain, keep it hold of the bottom card. I don't know if you can see what it's doing. I'm retaining. See how I keep that card there, that shuffle? Anyway, and then when I want, want to bring it to the top, I can bring it to the top if I want, see. <clears throat> but in this case, I don't. I mix, mix the cord up by keeping it at the bottom. But it looks like I'm mixing the cord. And then I mix the cord by even the squeeze. to be face down one way and face down the other way except the spectator's card will be face up among the face downs. Pen, Pen Russell did the sloppy shuffle and I uh, said, so you gotta teach me that because in a genie magazine I couldn't figure it out. And that's where you mix the card without pick. You don't have anybody pick the card. You just we do the weave. And it looks like you're just mixing the card. And you show that they're back to back, face back, back face, and then you cut. cards are normal again. And I was thinking on the way home at Bush Cards, Jesus helped me to realize I could use this for someone to pick a card. A spectator could pick a card and I could make their card face up amongst all the cards face down. So I took Ben Russell's teaching me the sloppy shuffle and add it to a spectator's card face up amongst the face down using a Michael Hammer line from another trick. My friends say, Bill, just do the trick. Well, I like to give credit where credit's due.
my grandma did, did that trick, just send it like to another trick, trick, not this trick, it was a different trick, and this trick I came up with myself, this is my version of sloppy shuffle, everybody else has their version, I've seen stuff on YouTube where they have it where the spectators is face down, and the they show all the cards face up, but the spectator card is face down, and then they flip it over, it's their card. But my version is face up amongst the face down. I think I did this trick, but I'll do it again. Here's the queen, a spade, queen of spade. I'll have I would have a spectator hold on to that card, but I'll lay that over here. To um, show the queen of heart, I don't say hold on to that. Well, I take the other card you have and. See, see, here's your queen, okay, alright, did you ever want your queen, I say, you want the queen of spades, I say, do you want the queen of spades on top, or the bottom, or, going, or the queen of heart on top, whatever which way they say, I say, I snap my finger and I say, flip it over, and now they're, queen, two queens change to, Two kings, two kings. I did that to Joseph Rock on Ben Wolin's birthday at Ben Wolin's parents' house, and he was like, "How'd you do that?" And John Hayberg and the rest of the, and Pastor Nathaniel Brown and everybody, they were like, "Wow, how'd you do that?" Meanwhile, Tommy and Banshee and Diane Mock and um, John Hayberg and his wife, they were playing, uh, Uno, and Banshee was winning, winning. Banshee Bobby Roberts' story was winning. And, um, but the rest of us was playing sort of like charades. But I forgot the name of it. It was Joseph Rock's idea. It was a pretty neat idea, neat, neat game. But in between, I was able to entertain. Alright. When I did the sloppy shuffle, John Hagberg said, Wow, that was good, Bill. I said, Thanks. It's called the sloppy shuffle. Anyway. Joseph Rock said to do this trick again. I said, uh, this was on Street Magic, David Blaine, ABC's, David Blaine's first special. And he was helping me realize the playback, the VCR, not the VCR tape, but um, I was playing around with it. I pretty much knew what he was doing, but I just had to figure it out. And for David Carlson, I had to play back the video the crazy man's handcuff and on the sixth time I noticed that his fingers went like like this when I went to this hand something like this because I watched this hand five times nothing and 
but it was like this. I thought, what can I do? And then two weeks ago, I just moved on down. That crit slide in these crazy man's handcuff. Anyway. Mitch Leary posted in AOT.magic.secrets and Google searching a long time ago. He says, Bill, we do it the hard way. We buy books and videos. I said, well, I do that sometimes too, but with Jesus' help, I can cut corners and, and I don't have to. Okay. This is the setup. You gotta put Queen of Hearts here, and Queen of Spade up the top, and two king, black king kings, King of Club and King of Spade, in the middle. That's the setup. And you go like this. You hand them one card in their hand. And then you do a triple lift to look like the Queen of Hearts, but there's three cards there. But to them, they thought you, you're showing a Queen of Hearts. And you lay it down back on the deck, and they're taking the King, but they don't look at it. You just say, hold on to it. And then you take their Queen, and as you take their Queen, you put it on the bottom and take the top, and the top will be another king. Now in their mind, they think they got two queens in their hand. And you say, you want the queen of hearts here, get it on top, or do you want the king of, school, queen of spade on the bottom, or whatever. And whatever they say, or if they say it doesn't matter, or whatever, you snap your fingers, and then you tell them to flip it over. And they'll see the queens change to kings, and they'll go, they'll go, what? How'd you do that? Even Mark Taylor liked that one. I was doing it the Blackstone 321 contact version. What was it, Re Reading Rainbow? I don't know. One of those, anyway. He's on Square One TV, too, Harry Blackstone Jr. And Miss Talking Mr. Ed, the original Harry Blackstone Sr. was on that one. And Mr. Ed's like, oh no, I'm way over. I don't want to be siskabobbed. And, and that's when Harry Blackstone Jr. did the Vanishing Bird Cage. And now Harry Blackstone Jr. does the Vanishing Bird Cage. It's 6.59 a.m. Doug Henning does this more and much better than I can. a spring flourish. I ain't learned to cut cascade thing, but Shin Lim can do it real good with that. So can Doug Henning. Douglas James Henning. Copper goes good with flourishes too. So is Lance Burton and Franz Ferrari and all of them. Melinda the First Lady of Magic, Princess Tanko, Rebecca again and all of them. Oh, Banty's up. It's 7 a.m. Get ready for church. Tommy don't go at night time. He only goes at daytime, so Tommy takes Banshee, but Banshee don't go with us because Tommy goes, wherever Tommy goes, Banshee goes. Everybody keeps asking me at night time on Wednesday night and Sunday night, Where's Tommy? Where's Banshee? Well, they say Bobby. 
And I say, if they only come in the morning, they don't come at night. Only at special occasions will they come at night. Like when their mom was coming to join Good News. That's the only time they did. And we all went in the same vehicle. Mrs. Story's vehicle. Tommy says, there's crazy people out there at night time because it's the end times. And he doesn't want to get stuck in a, in a car crash. Only will he go at night as if there was no choice, like forcing a car, like when Bobby, the only money Bobby wanted to come to the Halloween town that, that moved to the pier, pier's empty building around Halloween, and she worked a night shift, and Banshee and Tommy went to her to get a discount through Bobby because Bobby said they're family and Tommy said Bobby wanted to know where you were well Bobby don't know that only Tommy and Banshee do things together not Bill and Tommy and Banshee the only thing we do together with the three musketeers only is go shopping at Walmart or go to the movie theaters. That's it. Banshee and Tommy, they go to Tesby Square Mall, roam the malls, and pass the food court, look around, go in Target and get some DVDs or whatnot, or go to Rose's, or go to the Rite Aid and get some DVDs on Hottesbury Road. And go to the dollar stores or by Tara Mall and over by Chesapeake Square Mall, Walmart, or South Side, South High, can you say that word? Where the eye doctor is or my, where my doctor, Miss Francis, is, go, it's still in the same area in the dollar store or Dollar General. Hold up the list, know that the dollar stores are doing just like Walmart and all the stores are using uh, you check out check out your groceries yourself. I forget what you call that. And they're going cashless just like all the others. And BJ store not BJ, Best Buy is now adding, I think, 10 cents per plastic bag at the Chesapeake Square Mall one, I'm sure where else. Eventually, Walmart's going to add a, sur add a sur surcharge to if you got to get a bag. But if that happens, then we're just going to bring our own special bags that you, we bought at Walmart, like everyone else is slowly getting in practice doing. I see in the malls doing, not malls, in Walmart, because I don't go to the malls. Now, for the movie theaters, we will roam the malls if we're early. Then that's the only time I get to go roam the malls. The 
I wouldn't put a movie theater in theaters. I couldn't do that. trick here. You show the card or the spectator can pick a card and they place it there either way. I learned this trick and also in that book from the 70s and 80s. Me and a guy named Richard, we bought the book together at Kmart at Mid-City in Portsmouth, but now it's called Walmart. It's not Mid-City anymore, it's just a big Walmart store. Anyway, and then show that card. He tap it as the card that was in the middle. But the trick to that trick is eventually I just let Richard have that book because he seemed to be eager to, to learn. I hear a helicopter. You see, you put your pinky there, and you go like this. And then, at the pinky break, I put all the cards there and make sure that when I flip it, the top card will be their card. But I don't show it right away, I just show an indifferent card by doing a double lift. And then I just tap it and it'll be the person's card. Senior Spade, let me know. He's a YouTube channel guy. He might be on Facebook too, and Instagram and Pinterest and all of social media. But he said, Bill, he, he, he heard me always say and type, this is, I do the Harry Blackstone Jr. Um, um, bottom, bottom, bottom change or whatever. He said, Bill, it's called uh, bottom top change and it's older than Harry Blackstone Jr. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I didn't know that. Anyway, you put on the bottom, bottom top change. That's how you change a card. They see the, uh, this card and then you put on the bottom and grab the top, but they didn't, it's called the bottom top change. The Mass Magician, Valentino, Leonard Montana, the Mass Magician, showed everybody do the, just the top change. I can't do that because I've never practiced that. Probably would practice that, probably could, but I'm so used to doing it the Blackstone way that I watched on 3 2 1 Contact. There's another different, another trick that I used to practice doing, but I'm so used to doing that they were playing two card Monte that I still do that part that I saw on 321 Contact of Blackstone doing that. But I use it for, I now use it for the two card Monte. But later on in David Blaine specials, he'll do the Valentino Mass Magician to to, uh, I guess it's a tribute to the mass magician, I guess. He does it at the top, too, like everyone else is doing on YouTube. That black, ah, uh, here he, bleh, that Valentino mass magician showed how to do. But, I learned this one by watching 3 2 on Contact, PBS station, Square One TV. Blackstone taught a lot of tricks on there too, called Backstage with Blackstone. It's called Square One TV.
So on PBF, PBS, Cincinnati Pops to Pendragon, a perform illusion with the orchestra guy, and the orchestra guy learned a magic trick, make a handkerchief vanish and reappear. So I thought that was pretty out of touch. Jonathan Pendragon, Master of the Magnificent. Charlotte Pendragon, their born again Christian illusionist performers. I got to Ralph Adams a lot of time in Magic Book and Video with a four by Harry Blackstone Jr. talking about black card light black card lighting schemes. And in the video you see a young Jonathan Yarbrough, Jonathan Pendragon helping Ralph Adams outside on a cool stage illusion outside with, with, with the audience. And it's the same thing that Doug Henning uses on stage on the NBC's seven specials with Marie Osmond and others and Tony Randall on Doug Henning's Broadway and Magic and all that stuff. That's where you wrap them around a cloth and then they switch places. It's pretty neat. And then Marie points out in the audience and there's Doug Henning sitting in, in the chair to come back on stage. Dun, 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 dun. Montrari does some neat illusions too to reappear in the audience. And I've always wanted to do the football field magic trick that he was thinking about doing or he has done. And he was answering my prayers. He uploaded on YouTube and he performed it. And then he taught another magician to do the same thing. And Frontori explained how it was done by leaving the shadows there so you can figure it out on your own. I think that's cool in my book. That he cares to share the knowledge even on how they do that. He showed how to ma make a yellow submarine, mini submarine appear on stage with the finale a whole bunch of ladies. And he was one of the mass magicians on William Pondstone's book, Big Bigger, Bigger Secrets, Special ABCs, Secrets Revealed, then there's ABCs, More Secrets Revealed. One mass magician showed how to do a levitation of a person on a board. The other one showed the thin model sawing illusion. And I said, that guy with that thin model sawing, they had shown how to do it. That boy sounds like Ron Ferrari. Then I got to Genie Magazine. And it says that Fran Ferrari was the one exposing the thin model sawing on on a TV special. And I thought, I knew it, I knew it. <clears throat> and Jonathan Pendrick, I mean, Fran Ferrari said, well, I wasn't using the thin model sawing anymore. And Harry Blackstone Jr. said, why not? They revealed my father's buzzsaw illusion. And Penn and Tiller are like to reveal illusions too. And Harry Blackstone Jr. was friends with Penn and Tiller. And Copperfield teaches magic tricks. Including the electromagnet light and heavy chess on YouTube and the jumping rubber bands. And I saw those silly bands, that's what they're called. They're under a different name too, but I was saying, Cup, we could use that for the jumping rubber bands. 
showing off a used them on the Disney YouTube channel. Okay, so this is Mickey, and this is Donald, and this is for the Disney. No, that's not. There's been other magicians that also have been for little teach a magic trick for Disney. Jeff McBride, and I forgot that other guy. But the other guy was there on there more than anything. Jeff McBride did a nice car card trick. I can't remember the name of it, but with practice I was able to do that trick. But I need to watch, find that video if it's up on YouTube. I'm, I might have recorded it, but anyway. Because I was watching them, I was like, I think I know how he did it. It's coming out the same way. The Amazing Christian. Mark Summers thing. He made all the aces come into play. That's where I got... Uh, my version of the elevator was someone's card keep coming to the top or, or any card to do it to come to the top by the amazing Kreskin doing his put the aces and everywhere in the deck and then they jump to the top and I was like I think I know how he did that but instead of using it for that I'll just use it and as a card keeps jumping to the top. Anyway, you get the idea. It's 7, 18 a.m. in the morning. May 28th, 2023, Sunday. Yep, it's raining. It's raining outside. Definitely raining.